My name is Michael, and I'm a One Legacy Ambassador. One night, I got a fever of about 107. It was the height of COVID. My husband came into the room, and they ended up dragging me to the hospital. The doctor did some blood work on me that night, and the doctor told me I had cirrhosis of the liver. They told me I would probably need a liver transplant, which to me at the time in the state of mind I was in, I didn't even know what that meant. And at first I was not even sure that I wanted to have a liver transplant because I was so sick. When I finally turned myself around, I decided I was gonna be the best damn patient that I could be and I was gonna be a rock star. I wanted to live because I was discovering sort of a new person. My relationship with my husband was, was already amazing, but it got so much stronger because when, you, when you're faced with losing somebody, y y things change. All of a sudden, we were like totally fighting for the same thing. You know, I couldn't find the right person to get me into the hepatology office. And finally, Jerry called and started calling random phone numbers in this string and got the right person. The caretaker role of a transplant patient is, is extremely tough because as a transplant patient, my, my job was to get to the surgery. In recovering, you get this wonderful pink cloud around you, everything is wonderful, the world is so bright and shiny, but the caretakers remember what you went through on a daily basis. The recovery was the easy part. When I got diagnosed with cirrhosis of the liver, my doctor told me to get a hobby, and so I, I basically joined the circus. I, the circus became important to me because it gave me a, a place to go when I was so sick, and it gave me some place to go when I got better, plus I typically will teach stilts or unicycle or juggling. I'm working with kids about four days a week, and I just got hyper-focused on trying to help others, and I found joy in it. It gave me a goal to get back, you know, to, to, because you're locked in the house for three months, you know, post-transplant. And it's just so rewarding because I don't have kids of my own. I think when you face dying, it really changes you, and I may not always win the race, but I'm gonna win the race for me. I was in the emergency room 19 times before transplant. In 11 months, that's crazy. I have a vague shadow of a memory being in the ICU. My mom tells me that I asked repeatedly, did I get it? Did I get the liver? <laughs> did I get it? She, she, she always giggles when she tells that story. Being a One Legacy Ambassador is out of my comfort zone. This is, some, like I said, this is something I would never do. I enjoy talking to to the communities and some communities are afraid of organ donation. It's hard to argue standing there. Look at, this is, you know, look at me, I'm here, you know, because it's not even what we say, it's just in daily life, how you treat each other. My name is Michael. I'm a liver transplant recipient and organ donation saved my life.